Welcome back to the Fixed Ops Roundtable. I'm Ted Ings. We are here today in beautiful Albany, New York for our fourth pop-up event. We are at the DePola Automotive Group. Chevrolet, Ford, and Mazda. I'd like to welcome our panel today, uh, including Tom Restino, the Vice President of Operations. Tom, thank you so much for having me. Thanks, Ted. Thanks for coming on to meet our executive team and meet all our wonderful people and to interview them and to find out the great culture and you know pathways for uh, careers. And we'll talk about that with all of going through this whole piece. Uh, Tom, I have heard it's all about the people here at DePaula. So I'd like to introduce everybody, if I could, to Jason Newell. He's the executive manager here at the Polo Mazda. And with us today is Kathy McCamey, the CFO of the Polo Automotive Group. Uh, Jason and Kathy, welcome to the Fix Ops Round. Thank, thank you for having me. Yes. Um, Jason, Tom mentioned the career path. And uh, today, when we speak to various employees here at the Polo, we're going to hear about that career path. You're a great example of that, I understand. Tell us about that. Yeah, I was I was very fortunate about 12 years ago. Uh, I started in the sales department at the Chevy store and had the opportunity to work my way up uh, into the finance department, onto the desk. And then with uh, with the acquisition of Ford and Mazda, several years later, had the opportunity to step up and head over there and uh, complete a dealer academy a few years ago. So that was that was a nice, uh, nice experience as well. Wow. So I've learned there is a career path here at DePaula. And, you know, before we got started earlier today, Kathy, uh, I learned from you that uh, Tom's career path really started a few years back uh, with you as well. Yes. Uh, in uh, 1995, I was working at a dealership in uh, Vermont, and we were looking for a uh, service manager. And Tom came in and interviewed, and I hired him there. Mm -hmm. And then a year later, I left. I met Mr. and Mrs. DePaula and interviewed with them and took the position there. And two years after that, I called Tom up and said, come on down. Let's get back together. So he's been my work husband for 27 years. <laughs> yeah, that, that, wow. that. So um, great story, you know, fascinating. And we're going to hear a lot today from not only your uh, your technicians and your service and your parts personnel, but, you know, the ladies of Depola as well. Um, talk to us a little bit, Jason. You know, you're very intentional at Depola in terms of when you hire, Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you look for in your employees or your future employees. The biggest thing that, that I can say we look for is really just people who want to be here. And, you know, that's a big part of the culture that we've established here. You know, when, when people are here, it's not, it's not like it's a punishment or they have to be here and they have to punch the clock from a, from a certain time. It's, you know, they're here because, you know, we're family, we work together and we want to be here. And our industry is changing. I mean, we've gone through a lot in the last three or four years, things that we yeah. never would have expected. And, um, so many things are happening within our industry, and I see that DePaula is really, you know, following that and actually leading the way in many um, ways with the technology and so on. Yeah, I think that's, for myself at least, that's what, what I love about this industry the most is it's constantly changing. And, you know, we do, we do everything that we can to be right on the cutting edge of, of everything changing because, you know, if, if you're not, someone's going to pass you by. And especially in, you know, today's, today's environment, we want to put ourselves in the best position to, you know, acquire the best talent that we can. You know, if we're if we're not up to speed, it, it's not going to happen. Kathy, it's all about the people at the Paula. We're going to hear today about parts, wholesale parts, things that you're doing uh, in terms of service, pickup, and delivery. Talk to us a little bit about the people uh, here at the Paula, because you've got a whole lot of people that work for this team. Yes, we do. We we have uh, 350 employees um, at the Auto Group, and we like to look for people that are young, uh, looking to start in a business and learn. Uh, I personally like to hire nobody, uh, people with no experience because mm -hmm. um, we can teach them our way, which is a great way. Uh, we're very much into, and I think our employees feel it from the day that they start, that we have a path for them. We have mentoring programs. Uh, Mrs. DePaula is 100% upon um, training. Anyone that comes in, whether it's through the manufacturer, an outside source, or people within that have a lot of experience within the dealership and we see people grow. My three office managers all started as receptionists or nighttime filers and have worked their way up. And, uh, and I think that's because uh, we believe in cross training, cross departments, so that everybody knows that we're a team. And we always say, come join the family 
And it's very, very true because once you join the family, our wings go around you and we take you to higher places. And I can feel that here, okay? You know, that presence is very much felt. And Tom, you look for ways to help your employees succeed. Talk to us about that because I see that you give them the tools and the resources to build it. We try to take kids right out of school and try to teach them a trade. I mean, we, we've forgotten for so many years about the trades and everybody was a big push to go to college, and but we forget what they can do in this industry. I mean, you have parts people, as you're going to see, that have been here almost 38 years in the business, which is tremendous, or the young people that we started as technicians and we give them a career path. Whereas Kathy said, they, they grow up from being receptionists and they, and they move up through the ranks. I mean, Mrs. DePaula has put a, a number of us through Dealer Academy, which is a tremendous amount of expense for that. And it's, a, the, it's about the training that she's brought to us that we're training our people and you'll find out how we pay our technicians. They want to train at home. We'll pay them their full rate because it's all about knowledge. And if, you, if people know that, this business is about knowledge. And it's not just about a, a mechanic or a grease monkey many years ago. It's about a specialist. How are you going to make an EV specialist or a diesel specialist or whatever growth we can give them? We're there to do that. The whole process. And Tom, you're not afraid to try new things here at DePaula. I know I met you the first time maybe four or five years ago. And you and I together learned about service pickup and delivery. And you were quick to adopt that. Not long afterwards, you've adopted mobile service. You've done a great job, not just on selling the hours, but the parts as well, wholesale. You've got a medium heavy truck business, really second to none here in Albany. Talk to us about the importance of fixed operations. It's all about relationships. And you're gonna see that when you talk about all our people. It's about relationships from that wholesale person at the desk that wants, they wanna sell a part to, and about the relationships on how quickly we bring our parts, or about the women in the fixed operations that greet our guests and it makes them feel comfortable. I mean, no one likes to come here or the pickup and delivery. And there's so many people that we hire for our pickup and delivery. They're great people. And that's what you want to get comments on. I mean, makes them feel comfortable. And it's all about comfort level because everything's changing in this business. Where are we going to go from the ice to the EV that we'll, we'll talk about even more? It's all going to change, but you still got to have different aspects on the pickup and delivery, the mobile service and making people Showing empathy. That's a big piece, empathy. I feel it and I see it. Jason, isn't it amazing the focus on fixed operations, how important that has become now in the last couple of years? You know, really, you've got this beautiful facility here, this beautiful new facility with Mazda, and really, you, just like many other leading dealerships, are putting the focus on service and parks first. I like that. Yeah, it's, you know, they call it, they call it the fixed side of the business for a reason. And I think one of the things that we learned uh, through COVID, you know, there was a lot of, you know, different perceptions. Okay, sales, are we selling online? Are we selling in the showroom? And, and you know, we were very lucky that the fix was always there for us. So we kind of took that as an opportunity to grow it even more. And, you know, it's, it's the foundation of what we do. And Kathy, probably nobody more important in the dealership than the CFO, than yourself. You see it all, okay? A lot of things I'm can see. I signed their paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't hurt you. After that just... But a lot of change happening in our industry yeah. and a lot of change for the better. Yeah, uh, great change. for the, And we're very, very fortunate that, you know, 50% um, of our employees have been there over 15 years. And uh, so to have that kind of foundation and that working mechanics that and people are adaptable to change and the times because we don't want to keep up with the Joneses. We want to be the Joneses, you know. And Tom, I'll give you the last word. You mentioned to me before we got started today the word transparency. I see so much transparency in what you're doing here at the ball. Absolutely. You know you know that we use the video for eye service or, or true video. And it, the transparency with our, with our guests is important. I mean, especially with pickup delivery, you can do everything can be videoed. And that's what people want. They want to use their phone. And that's the biggest piece. And that, you'll see that when we talk to our other people, which you'll, which you'll see the camaraderie that we have and the family atmosphere. And that's the biggest piece that we have here, is the family piece. Everybody stay with us. We have a whole lot coming up here with the people of the DePaula Automotive Group. We're in Albany, New York, here with the leaders of DePaula. Stay with us, we'll be right back at the Fixed Ops Roundtable, fourth pop-up event. <laughs> 